Five, we're following a new effort to help the mentally ill throughout Indianapolis. The Department of Public Safety is teaming up with a group to build new strategies for dealing with this very public health crisis. RTV6 reporter Jack Reinhardt joins us live downtown from the Marion County Jail with details. Jack. Well, Todd, Public Safety Director Troy Riggs said mental health is one of the most important issues that we as a community need to confront head on. Now, it's not only humane, but there are many good socio and economic reasons for doing this. And we only have to go as far as our Marion County Jail to see how this problem creates a terrible economic burden for taxpayers. Of the 2,300 inmates housed in the jail every day, fully one third of them have been diagnosed with mild to severe mental illnesses. Treating these inmates is vital, but cost Costly, and finding a long-term solution to the problem is critical. We spend about $7.7 .7 million a year just taking care of the, the people that are mentally ill. That takes into consideration the prescription cost for psychotropics, the uh, extra deputies that are needed, and, and also the extra health care uh, staff that we have to have. Now at 6 o'clock, we'll take you from the jail to the streets where one Indianapolis neighborhood has a 322% higher uh, mental illness uh, population than the city in general. And we'll take you there tonight at 6 o'clock. Reporting live, Jack Reinhardt, RTV6. All right, a real problem, Jack. Thank you.